Hey guys, it's your girl Sasha here with Black Girl Brew Review, stopping in uh, today on this fine Memorial Day. Although it's been raining a lot here, but the sun has been in and out, which is why I look so cool with my shades on. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, it's a holiday, Memorial Day. One of the things that's just always attributed to that day is obviously a nice cold one, right? Um, so today I figured I'd stop in and, and let you guys know what's up. It's not my usual video. I'm not doing any reviews today, but I did come in to stop and share with you guys some really awesome gifts that I've been getting from some friends and some beer buds um, to just help Black Girl Brew Review. Um, be everything that it possibly can and I'm really really excited to share it with you I'm really really grateful to my friends new and old who um, believe in me and just want to see Black Girl Brew Review do its best and um, they might even like <laughs> what I have to say about uh, my beers so that's really cool you guys have been sending me stuff and asking to collab and do beer swaps and I'm just so excited I couldn't keep it from you anymore I'm sorry for the wait um, I've been doing some things in my personal life, just trying to grow, be better, and put myself in the best possible position for awesomeness. And finally, it's all kind of coming to a head. Things are looking up. And um, now I can sit down and enjoy my beers and um, share them with you all. So, that being said, um, I got some cool boxes in the mail. I know they're full of good stuff. And another gift I want to show you guys. So hold on just one moment while I open those boxes. And um, we'll get right to it. All right. So my first box is coming in from my guy, Art Jeezy, uh, from Poro Familia. And he's super dope. He's been in my corner um, basically since the beginning. And um, always, you know, trying to get me the good stuff and get what I need so he sent me this awesome package all the way from um, California which is which is really cool because being on the East Coast I don't really have access to West Coast beers so I'm really excited they're still in the box so they're not cold and I can't crack them open yet but I figured I'd spread it out a little bit anyway and give you some reviews um, in the next few days so right now I just want to open it and see what's inside and let's do that I'm gonna one hand it dandy because I don't have my tripod set up today so it's about to be real gangsta up in here or real jacked up oh I got it open okay work with me guys work with me I'm usually really good at this but uh, art you sealed the shit out of this package so good on you let's get this puppy open I wasn't gonna keep you guys on with me while I do this because I know it can be a bit of a process but fuck it right um, so anyway I hope you guys are having a really good Memorial Day um, it didn't rain everywhere I think so just the fact that it's here it's pretty cool and um, maybe you guys are outside barbecuing or you know, just hanging out with family, having some drinks, having some cold ones, and making the best of it. Y'all have to go back to work tomorrow, and I'll tell you a secret, I don't have to go to work tomorrow. So, uh, definitely going to get into something scandalous, I don't know what, uh, but we'll see. You know what? I can't do this. Be right back. I did it. So, I got this box open. <laughs> Jesus, Art, you really, you really know how to pack it up here all right oh man you guys you hooked me up so much dude you're the best um let me show you what's going on here so i got one two three beers all tall boys all right you're super solid dude um let's see what's going on here i kind of wish i had done this before so i could crack one open for you guys but um i really wanted to do the unboxing <laughs> because I feel like that's fun, and I haven't had fun with you guys in like a couple of weeks, so. This is crazy. What do you do? Package this shit for a living or what? All right, so, first one is, just the can alone is fire. Black is beautiful, and um, that's pretty dope. The can is great. Black is beautiful. 
black girl brew view is beautiful look at that crown there i'm gonna flip it around i'm doing a front cam right now but um black is beautiful hazy ipa you already know art ipas all day um by crowns and hops brewing company and it's seven percent so that's just solid you can really drink anything under seven percent we've had this conversation before uh it's just not my jam um, but shout out to everybody who just likes the taste of beer. I respect that. Um, but this can is just beautiful. It's really elegant. Um, yeah, I, I'm into it. And it says it's volume two. Black is beautiful volume two. So I wonder what volume one is about. But anyway, I cannot wait to crack this puppy open. I don't even know what else is in this box, but I'm already excited about this one. Um, so yeah, that's just one. Hold, hold the moment. Hold the moment. You guys have never seen me so unorganized. And this is probably going to be the longest video ever. So what? So what? Alright. So much with my teeth. Damn, I really need my, my tripod right now. Um, Alright. Coming in. Second round is, I'm actually impressing myself with how I'm doing this all with one hand. Dope. Space Nectar. Look at the cans, you guys. Look at that art. That's beautiful. It's really inviting for the eyes and just makes you want to see what's going on inside. Another Indian Pale Ale. Man. All right, this one's by, this one's by Moonraker Brewing. Um... Also 7%, you just can't go wrong. The can is fire. And I'm looking for some something, but I guess Space, Next, Space Nectar wants to leave a lot to the imagination. So once I crack this puppy open, I'll let you know how it's making me feel. And then we'll go from there. All right, last one. Last one from Art Jesus. If you guys aren't following Art, you're missing out. He's a great time. Um, Art Jeezy, G-E-E-Z-Y, uh, poor familia. You gotta follow him on TikTok if you're into beers and you are not following him. Or if you're just down with that Cali vibe because he exudes all of that. So go check him out. Um, he does lives where you can just hop on and, and, and watch or participate in a really good time. And um, yeah, he's just really fun and also wildly knowledgeable um, on, on craft beers. So uh, get into him. Last one, this can is fun too. Dude, I feel like you see me. Um, this is Keen on Peacherine. Um, it's a hazy IPA as well, 8.5% from North Park Beer Company. Um, look at this, look, look how cute. It's a little hoppy Elvis. How cute, okay. So, it's got some Citra, Citra Cryo, Raku, Freestyle Nelson Sauvin. Um, This sounds fun. This sounds really fun. I hope the peach is prominent, not going to lie. Um, I love peach. And I've really been trying to branch out as far as like flavors are concerned you know um sours aren't really my jam but i do encourage anybody who has any um really great ones that they've tried to just let me know because i'm open to it and um i want to try all this stuff you know i don't always want it to be something that i just love or i like or i would want to try um, i want to know what you guys want to have me try as well so i can expand my repertoire um but yeah, so that's it. We got Black is Beautiful, Space Nectar, and Keen on Peacherine. I cannot wait to try them. And um, thank you again so much, Art. I really appreciate it. Black Girl Brew Review appreciates you. Um, and uh, definitely stay tuned, everybody, for those reviews. They're coming very soon. All right, next up. Um, I got a package from Travis at Lunchbox Hands Beer Company. Um, he hit me up and said that he had gone to uh, a festival 
where he, um, you know, had his homebrew sour that he revealed to everyone that it was a big hit amongst everybody that attended, um, which I think is so dope. Um, so he sent that over to me and asked if I would review it. And obviously I am honored to do so. Um, let's see here. I'm going to show you guys the bottle is super, super dope. Um, it's called spring break 07. It's a strawberry banana sour. It's 4.2%. Look at this. Look at that. Really cute. It's giving like drive-in movie vibes. And again, I'm going to show you guys these um, spun around so you can really get an appreciation for the beer. A um, couple of reasons why I'm so excited to try this. Number one, as I just mentioned, um, I don't really have a lot of experience with sours, mostly because it's not my go-to. Um, and so I'm always looking for people to... Um, make recommendations to me and what better recommendation than from the man who made the sour himself and is um, proud of of how it's been appreciated and received I'm really excited Travis thank you so much for taking the time to do this for me and um, also strawberry banana is just a really solid flavor it's like a staple flavor you can't go wrong with it's been around for all the time <laughs> All of my time anyway and um, and so I feel like as a sour it probably wouldn't be overly tangy or um, sour um, the 4.2 percent then doesn't bother me because I am NOT drinking this to get a buzz I'm drinking this to introduce myself to sours and to get a better understanding of that world or that part of the beer craft world so Travis you the man thank you very much i can't wait to open this again guys stay tuned i'm gonna be probably doing back-to-back -back reviews here and knocking these puppies out although it's really hard for a girl to stay slim when she's drinking all these delicious craft beers i'm not gonna lie so i guess summer's gonna get whatever body i give it but um it's gonna be totally worth it and last but absolutely not least um one of the best gals I know out there, um, my friend Beans, my friend Sabrina. Um, she's been really proud of me with everything that's been going on. She's been really excited. Um, and she also knows how I like to um, make y'all happy um, by doing my pours. So I've been doing it in this little glass and just making it work. Because again, it's for you. It's not for me. Y'all know I like to drink out of a can. Um, and she is such a thoughtful person. She's a really thoughtful friend. And um, she always makes me feel loved and appreciated. And now she's extending that love and appreciation to Black Girl Brew Review. And I just couldn't love you more, Beans. You're the best. Um, so she went ahead and surprised me with this new beer glass. Look how cute, you guys. It says BGBR, obviously stands for Black Girl Brew Review, which is etched underneath. Um, it's so sleek and simple and just awesome um, and I can't wait to make my first pour in this for you guys um, kind of makes me official you know what I'm saying so uh, I just again I want to thank everyone for um, helping me grow and helping me expand my like I said my repertoire my knowledge um, my taste buds my nose my, my senses it's it's fun you guys it's really fun I hope you're having you know fun too um, I'm still learning I'm still growing and if, uh, if any of the OGs out there have any advice for me any recommendations for me um, or if you just want to show love I'm here for it truly and um, please stay tuned like I said I am ready to knock these puppies out Okay, I have some other ones too, but um, I at least want to give you a few of these these uh, these gifts that I got here, so you can go out and get you some. Um, so again, Memorial Day, it rained, not a problem. Grab a beer, make it cold. If you don't have one, go get you some. See you later.